Hi everyone, this is Chetan Nayak. This video is a quick summary of the new features in Brutal v1.4. The first feature is the new SOX5 proxy. The previous release of Brutal only had SOX4. In this release, we have SOX4A as well as SOX5 with full authentication support as well as support for UDP. So I'll quickly start my SOX5 proxy here. The port, username and password. I'll go back here and let me gain root access. I'll run a few nmap queries. Let me put this to sleep zero so that it's a bit faster. And you can see that we are successfully able to run any nmap queries that we require. We also, I also happen to have uh, a specific uh, Python script. This Python script simply sends a DNS request to get the A record for brutal.com and will send that to 8.8.8.8. So in short, this is going to be our UDP packet, which we are going to test against our SOX5 proxy. We can see that I'm going to connect as a SOX client to our IP address that I provided in the command line argument over here itself. So I'll specify Python 3 SOX UDP 172.16.219.19050. Oh, okay. I did not provide the username and password, admin and password. So you can see that the authentication was successful and we were able to successfully get our uh, IP address of our brutal.com which is a proof for our, as you can see, the same one which we got over here. So our DNS request is successfully going. Next thing that we can try to see is to check whether our DNS resolutions are working properly. I'll open a Firefox window here and in my Firefox window, I'll configure my SOX5 proxy. So as we can see, it's already configured and I think that is the reason why we got a lot of authentication failed. So I'll go back and stop my SOX proxy because Firefox does not have my admin and password for SOX5 configured. So I'll just keep it as default for this. I'll go back, okay. And now I don't think we should get any errors. Let's see. You can see our google.com is working properly and as you can see over here that we are getting information about our DNS resolution. I'll check if I can access YouTube. You can see it's working properly. If I go to let's say Google Play Store as well, you can see that everything is getting loaded perfectly fine without any issue. The current update to the SOX proxy also contains update to the way the Badger connects to the command and control server. In the previous cases, the Badger used a separate HTTP connection to connect to the command and control server, which means it had a separate option to use a custom profile for a separate SOX proxy and one for the command and control. Starting from the v1.4 release, both of them have been merged and both uh, the SOX proxy as well as the main request of Badger will go in a single request itself, which means that you can also utilize sleep masking to use alongside SOX proxy by keeping large timeouts for your TCP packets. The another major feature update is the memexec command, which can execute any console executable compiled in Clang or uh, MingW in memory. Make note that this does not support Golang or any other similar executables which are not compiled via uh, Clang or MingW, GCC or G++ in this case. So I'll type memexec. I'll first execute Mimikatz itself for a quick example. Mimikatz.exe, let's say coffee. So this will be executed in memory and there won't be any traces of new processes being created. As you can see, our coffee has run, has completed our run successfully. Uh, we can also run a lot of other tools and not just limited to being limited to Mimikatz itself. So over here, I'll type, let's say, slash documents, sys, uh, in, uh, my bad, I think it's Windows, sys internals. Let's say we'll run the handle 64.exe 
and search for all handles related to explorer.exe itself and you can see we can run the sys internals tool itself similarly let's see if we can run the access check 64.exe which can be used to check the permissions of different objects within a windows system and you can see that we are successfully able to run it over here as well there are a few more other updates for example such as i can type let's say note and i'll type let's say this is a test uh, payload we can see that the note has been directly added up over here if i want to hide some specific columns i can do that by selecting those options over here as well and you can see that most of the options have uh, disappeared you can enable them by selecting them again and you can see that they have appeared back so that would be all for this video on brute retail v1.4 there are a few more interesting releases up ahead and for now a happy new year and see you guys later